Now, with big elections around the world this year, including, as we mentioned, in India and the US, there is plenty of concern about the way artificial intelligence and deep fakes could be abused and used to spread mistruths. In fact, it has already happened. Last year, an AI-generated fake audio clip of the London Mayor Sadiq Khan was shared hundreds of thousands of times online. The clip was so convincing that it inflamed protests in the real world. Our disinformation and social media correspondent Mariana Spring reports. Last November, Sadiq Khan was the target of a deep fake audio recording. I control the Met Police. They will do as the Mayor of London tells them and obey orders. It was deliberately made to give the impression that I'd said what I hadn't said, but it, was, it looked and sounded so authentic. You know, we did get concerned very quickly about what impression it may create. The timing explains why the clip went viral. Whether or not a pro-Palestinian march should take place on Saturday the 11th of November, Armistice Day, was a source of political tension. The march went ahead, but there were concerns the faked clip fanned tensions at a counter-protest. We almost had serious disorder uh, that weekend. The, as, as it was, were you know, elements of the far right there, police officers were injured, arrests were made. But just imagine in a different scenario where there's more toxicity. Or, for example, uh, in a close election, a close referenda, times where there's, you know, disharmony in a community, the impact a deep fake audio, an AI-generated audio or video could have. I hunted down the suspected creator of this deep fake, an account named HJB News. The man behind the profile, Henry, called me on the phone. He refused a recorded interview, but he did allow his words to be voiced up by an actor based on my notes. All of the evidence I've found on social media suggests you were the first person who posted it. Um, and if you weren't the first, then at least you were one of the very first. No comment. I'm trying to report just real news. Well, except for the fake clip of Sadiq Khan. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's not all fake clips. It's not all fake clips. We post news that could be real with a sense of humour. Other social media users who played a part in making the clip go viral did show remorse, though. Foolishly, uh, and to my detriment, uh, you know, uh, and, and shame, I put it out. What was the reaction when you first shared it? Well, within an hour, 200,000 people had seen it. The Metropolitan Police, who initially said they were investigating the case, dropped it, stating that the faked audio does not constitute a criminal offence. A clip like this one has both a personal impact and wider repercussions. You've got friends and family who see this stuff and it's deeply upsetting to your... I mean, I've got two, two daughters, I've got a wife. It's far too easy now for people to use technology to cause problems. And I, and I criticise my profession for not evolving fast enough to address some of the challenges that this brings. The current laws we have around copyright, IP, criminal law aren't fit for purpose. And that will be the worry of some politicians as elections unfold across the world this year. How AI technology can be easily manipulated to spread something you never even said. Mariana Spring, BBC News.